good morning or afternoon. Uh, my name is Peter Schimpf. I'm in the Theology of Ministry class here at Alter, and this is the fourth video we're putting out to spread hope throughout Alter uh, during the quarantine. And this week we're going to focus a little bit on some of the more positive stories that we haven't heard as much. Uh, these are the people who have survived coronavirus. So this is Rebecca Fraser and her husband. They were on the Diamond Princess cruise, and she tested positive for corona as she came back to the States, and she stayed in quarantine until she had four negative tests, but her husband stayed with her the whole time, even though he ne never tested positive, and now they're both healthy. This is my favorite story. Uh, this is 89-year-old uh, Eugene Campbell from Washington. He had a stroke uh, right before the outbreak, so he was hospitalized and then placed in the Life Care Center, which is a nursing home outside Seattle. And then the nursing home became infected with coronavirus. So his son got pretty worried, and uh, his son's name is Charlie. Charlie went to visit Eugene at the Life Care Center, and he couldn't go inside to talk to him, but they kind of waved through his window. And then he found out that Eugene was had been showing symptoms, so they tested him, and they transferred him to a hospital. And then the doctors at the hospital said that Eugene like immediately started recovering uh, very quickly, which was I thought was pretty cool. He was 89 years old, he had just had a stroke, he was surrounded by coronavirus patients, and then he recovered quickly. Uh, the doctors were baffled. This is Thomas and Mariama. They are a married couple from India. They are 93 and 88 years old. Uh, both of them had previous conditions which affected their immune system. Both of them contracted coronavirus, unfortunately. And both of them were in the hospital in critical condition because of virus. And miraculously, both of them survived. These stories are pretty incredible. Uh, they tell of people who have battled something that the entire world is battling right now. Uh, but they won their battle. And that gives us hope because if these people can do it, people who have all of the odds stack stacked against them and who it seems like they don't have a chance, if they can beat coronavirus, then as a world, we can beat coronavirus. Uh, the other cool thing is I didn't really have to research very hard for this project. Um, I didn't like spend hours scouring obscure websites to find any glimpse of a story of someone who survived. Uh, they're out there. I just Googled like coronavirus survivors and all these stories popped up. And these are just the people who talk to the media. There are so many hopeful stories out there if you just look for them. Uh, so I'm going to close with a, a Bible verse and a Harry Potter quote. So the Bible verse is Psalm chapter 33, verse 22. And it reads, May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. And I know Hank got into a lot of depth with the uh, scripture side of what we should be doing during this time. But this verse is just a quick little idea uh, that with God, with your faith in God, comes good things and comes joy. And then along the same lines, uh, Albus Dumbledore said, Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. Now, both this quote and the Bible verse have the same idea, that no matter what you're going through, uh, whether it's coronavirus or something else, then if you're feeling down, it gets better. And there's hope out there. You just got to know where to find it.